Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another great video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you guys the results from our week two PBL. Now week one is on the joint channel. Link is going to be down in the description below the joint channel that myself and OG have. Um, that's where we're going to be putting all the PBL games. Unfortunately though, OG couldn't play this week due to him being in Korea. He's coaching our Space Station Southeastern Asian team, which is in the finals. So, you know, congrats to them, obviously. But we had to go on without OG. So we played PBL, myself, second best, and Keith. You guys know who they are. We're facing Nova's old team. So it's a team of like Johnny Boy, Tyrant Star. You guys have seen a bunch of videos. Usain Colt, you guys know. Korai and Super Sai. You know, you, you guys know all these names. I don't have to say them. Um, so it was a really good series. We're going to hop into it. Let's show you guys the games. Let's replay it. And let's show you guys what happened. Okay, so we're going to start off on field goal. And a note before the game starts is... We preferred Sandy as the mid, but Sandy got banned, and then Spike got banned, which is also one of our lanes. So we're kind of thinking on the spot here, and I thought, you know, Carl and Daryl are definitely going to be the alpha lanes. I clearly thought the same thing, and also went Carl and Daryl. But then we thought, you know, who should we go as mid? I'm not the 8-bit on the team. I never play 8-bit. I feel like 8-bit could have been a good mid here. Um, and so I just decided to go Gene. You know, I was just like, you know, that's my most comfortable brawler. It's my best brawler. I'm sure we'll be okay. So we're about 30 seconds into the game now. Oh, the lanes are kind of even. I pushed back Super Sai, but since one of the lanes, since uh, Tyrant Star was pushing up second, I had to get the ball and put it into the corner. And you guys can see seconds losing over there. He's going to be able to get a really good hit. He's going to survive with about 400 HP. Then Usain Cole is going to go on to Keith. I'm going to be able to kill Usain as well. You know, big help from Keith. And you know, uh, Super Sai is in that corner. He has jump. I have my pull. I was aiming it, but it's kind of risky. You know, there wasn't any guarantee that we would have gotten the kill, so I just didn't go with it. Uh, I held it down though. They all have super, so I'm not really trying to use it. Second saying, try and bait them, so grab the ball and come to the middle. I'm walking over to the middle, and unfortunately, second best gets tapped right before. I was just going to give him the ball. So you guys can see Usain gets rolled on. I kind of panicked that. I probably should have put it in my corner, but instead I just shot it up. I'm going to be able to pull Usain over there. He's going to survive with 168 HP. I'm almost going to get my super back. Really good roll over there from second, but Super Sai gave second the ball, which didn't allow him to keep kill Tyrant. Keith's going to get his super wasted over there. I have my super, so I could basically get a kill on the Piper or the Carl. Depends which one we want to go for. Um, I'm right beside the Carl. Tyron's going to go for a roll, and he's actually going to be able to score that goal. So that was a really good play by him. A minute and a half into the game, and they're now up 1-0. So we have 50 seconds to score a goal. Still a ton of time, but they are playing really well. Second best is going to get tapped. I'm going to go for the pull on Usain. I'm going to miss by like a third of a tile. That one was pretty rough. Second's going to get tapped and he's going to go down. I'm going to be able to kill Tyrant Star over there. And Usain's going to roll on us. Um, I'm able to pull Rose, uh, Usain. Second's going to roll on Usain. Really good defensive effort over there because that really easily could have been a goal. So now we're moving up over here. You guys can see 25 seconds left. He's doing a really good job on Super Sai over there. Almost has him down. Going to be able to pick up the kill over there. Second's going to pick up the ball. Keith's going to go in and cause just, you know, a lot of damage and a lot of a distraction. We're going to be able to take out Tyrant. And with 14 seconds left, we're able to get that goal. Now at this point, second starts like kind of screaming that he's lagging and that he can't move. You guys can see second's going to be a little bit choppy. So I notice that Tyrant's far to the left, Usain's far to the right. I might as well pick up this ball since uh, second's lagging. Go for the game winner and we're able to hit that shot. So that was really, really good. Uh, we were able to hit that. We got star player. And if we didn't get that, we were going to lose because I would be dead and second best is just not able to move. But with second best not being able to move, it being a three on two and it being a Gene and Carl versus a Piper, Daryl and Carl, we wouldn't have won. So I just said, you know what, let's go for it, whatever. And we're, we managed to get that goal. So it was a really good first game. Um, really, really tough one that kind of set the tone for the rest of the match um, for just, you know, tough, even competition. So let's hop into the second game and let's show you guys what happened. Also, in case you guys were wondering about the headband and the jersey, we're so far up to this point undefeated while I'm wearing this stuff. So, you know, we're just going to roll with it until we lose. So we go up here. Um, it's a pretty good matchup for Daryl. Daryl on BB, you know. The BB has to get really close to you if he wants to hit you. And, you know, Daryl obviously likes it when you're close to him. At least you're going to charge his pull if you get, or his uh, super if you get hit. So that's fine. I'm going to go for a roll over there. I'm about a tile short of getting the hit. Unfortunately, I don't get it, so I'm not able to get the kill, but I got pretty good charge over there. Um, Korai is doing a good job of pushing Keith back. They're both pretty good Barleys. They've been good Barleys for about a couple years now, so that's a really good matchup over there. Second has a super. He's going to super Tyrant Star. I'm just chilling over here with uh, Usain. I see Corey's a little bit trapped, so I'm going to roll on Corey. Going to get that easy kill. And although I went down, I did a ton of damage to Usain, so we're able to get some good positioning over here. I'm going to just kind of just panic roll over there. Probably rolled a little bit too quickly. Probably shouldn't have done that, but it was fine. 
two of my teammates got taken out um, so I'm just kind of trapped in the middle here just trying my best kind of to stall so I was able to stall until my teammates get alive although they are gonna get a Bartley super off Usain's gonna put himself in the corner you definitely don't want to go there when facing a Daryl so I was trying to bait out his shot I wasn't able to, he wasn't swinging, so I thought I'm just going to roll in that corner. Got a double bounce, so that was fine. Charged my super, and I was able to get the kill. I know that the bull's in there, but second saying it's fine, just move up. I got this. Um, the bull's going to go charge on the safe. I didn't really want to leave second alone, though, because that was a lot of damage. Keith and second are able to get Korai, and we're able to get that kill. So over here, uh, we have Usain in the middle. One minute left, and we still haven't done any damage. He's going to swing, lose his shield, so I decided to roll on him. Going to pick up the kill and then I'm going to roll on Korai and also pick up that kill. So that's really good. We're hammering away at the safe now. Um, we do about 18% and Keith helped out second with Tyrant Stars. So that's why we didn't do as much damage. But it's looking pretty good. I'm going to roll right back on them. Usain's going to hit me into uh, into Cory. I almost get the kill over there on Usain but unfortunately stays alive with 459 HP. But we do have the lead at this point and we do have position with 30 seconds left. Now with me dying obviously they're going to be able to move up. As I'm the main like damage and HP on our team. Usain's moving up pretty easily. I have my roll and this is kind of a weird place we're in because we could just leave him or we could go up. Um, so I decided to stay on defense. Keith's going to move up. Good roll over there. Keith's trying to get his super. He's going to be able to get it. He's going to launch his super on the safe. Corey takes a shot. He's going to hit the safe. I'm able to get two kills. Keith's on the safe going for it. And if we had one more second or two more seconds that one would have been either a tie or a win. But fortunately for them, they snuck out with the victory, and that's going to leave the game at 1-1. One to one. It's a best of 9, so first one to win 5 games this is a really, really good series. Again, another insanely close game, just like the first one. Let's hop into the second game, and let's show you guys what happened. Or sorry, the third game. Let's show you guys what happened. Now, going into the third game, the bans were a little bit different. We banned Piper mid. Uh, we expect them to ban Gene mid, since usually when I Gene, we win. Um... <laughs> And they didn't actually do that, so we were expecting to have to go like bow mid or something. But they didn't ban Gene, they banned Daryl. So I'm able to Gene mid, which is really, really cool. Uh, we have the spike lane and a Carl lane, and they also have a spike. But instead they had an M's, which I did call. I did say they were probably going to go M's, which are both spike and Carl does have a pretty good time against. So anyways, myself and Keith are going to pinch Corey over there. We're going to be able to get that kill, and I'm going to survive with 280 HP. Although it was calculated, I didn't just go in there, you know... And it was close. I knew I would survive with that much. So I'm over here. Corey gets a little bit too close. I'm able to pull Corey. And Keith's just going to spin in. Kind of just do his own thing. And I'm able to pick up some gems because of that. So it's 5-1 to one for us. Second's doing a really, really good job on his lane. Uh, so good of a job, actually, that Tyrant Star is going to have to move over. And him and Corey are going to switch lanes. I didn't really like the idea of that. So I'm just going to go over here and pull Tyrant Star be able to get that kill. Second is getting backed up by Corey over there. But we're able to pick up gems, so it's 6-1 to one right now. It's looking really, really good. Second's going to go for the kill. Unfortunately, though, he's going to get pulled by Tyrant. But either way, he was enough of a distraction for, to let me pick up gems. So it's 9-1 to one right now. Keith's kind of trapped over there, so he is going to go down. We did a good amount of damage. Corey's on my lane. I'm going to be able to pull him and get that kill. So it's looking really good. So far, I've yet to miss a pull. Um, and Usain Colt has only, hit a, has only hit one, so that's pretty good. I almost have my super at this point. Um, I really want those gems in the middle very, very badly, but obviously Usain has pull, and I can't go to the middle if Usain has pull. Um, he's playing really defensive. I know he's not going to walk into my gene super range, so instead I just go to the side over here where Korai is, and I help out Keith. I pull him, and I'm able to get that kill. I got three taps, which means I only need one sprinkle for my super. Keith basically just suicides as he goes in and he spins, which allows me to walk up and take the gems. I'm going to hide in the corner. Really good hesitation over here by Usain. Which causes me to miss the pull by like a third of a tile. Um, and they have some really good pressure. They all have super. Second has really good super placement over there. Which doesn't allow Tyrant to come forward. And that's going to end the game. So that was a really, really good ending. This game was definitely a lot smoother than other ones. Um, the other two are really, really close. This one we kind of just had the lead from the start. And although we had like a little bit of a shaky middle. We basically dominated for the entire game. So that one was really, really good. We move up 2-1 to one in the standings. Uh, or not in the standings. In this match. Let's hop into the fourth game and show you guys what happened. Okay, so we're going to be playing on Canal Grande. Um, this is probably my favorite bounty map, to be honest, because I find it probably takes the most skill out of all the bounty maps. This one and Lair Keika, at least. So I start off just by kind of just sprinkling away. I would definitely think they would play a tank, but they decided not to. The bans here were Daryl and Tick. I hate facing Tick on this map. It's the most annoying thing in the world, so we made sure we banned that. They banned Daryl. Second's going to be on Tyrant Star over here. He's going to pick up the kill... But unfortunately for us, Usain's able to get a kill. 
I'm going to get one kill over there on Johnny. Um, Keith's doing a good job pinching with second. They're able to pick up that kill. And I'm just chilling on this lane over here. I got two on my lane, which is fine though, because, you know, I'm on the G and I'm used to it. Uh, we're going to be able to pick up the kill on Johnny Boy over there. So now it's just Tyrant Star. They open up that right side completely, uh, which is really bad for Keith, obviously, for, you know, just extremely obvious reasons. Second's just going to jump, break some walls, and move over on my side. I'm going to be able to hit the pull over there on Tyrant. He's got 280 HP, but I can't move up because Johnny would snipe me. Um, so, unfortunately, I'm not able to get the kill, but fortunately, I'm able to get my, uh, my turret. Johnny had enough of my lane, and so did Tyrant Star. As he just goes to the other lane. He says, screw being on lane with Bobby. So he's going to go over there to that right side. And basically for a while here, it's just Keith kind of juking and them going for second. Really good playing over here by Keith. He's basically just stalling. That's all it is at this point. Keith is literally stalling, juking these shots, not getting hit by any of them. Really, really well played for Keith. I'm saying the VC, Keith, do you want to just stall and just juke for 40 seconds? I go for the pull over here. Um, I miss it by quite a bit. I wasn't really happy with that pull. I thought it was a bit further. But second best is doing a really, really good job tapping them over there. Second almost goes down. He's got 280 HP, but he's going to stay up. Um, Johnny moves to the left side now. I'm kind of just staying hidden in the bush. I'm going to try and just like W key him and push him forward. But it wasn't the play, so I moved over to the side. 15 seconds left. Second is still tapping. Keith is somehow still alive, juking, not dead. Um, I'm able to charge my super. I get back into a corner. I miss Johnny Boy, and then somehow that Penny turret sees me from all the way over there and cross map snipes me. That one kind of disappointed me, but anyways, doesn't matter. We ended up getting the win. That was a really, really good game, and that moves us up to 3-1, and one, I believe. So again, first one to win five games, so we're only two games away. They're four games away, so it's looking pretty good for us. Let's hop into the next game and show you guys what happened. So here we go on to Siege. They banned Gene. We banned... Who do we ban? We banned... I think Daryl or Rosa or something. Def okay, I guess it wasn't Rosa. We banned, I think we banned Carl. And we didn't really have a mid here. I probably should have ticked in hindsight. But we decided that I'm going to be the Piper. So if you guys know my team at all, you guys know second and OG are pretty insane Pipers. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to step up to the plate. It is my time to shine as Piper. OG was in the VC as well as second. I'm OG VCing from Korea. It was the morning for him, so it kind of worked out. So we were kind of joking around uh, with that a little bit. But we're going to be just chilling over here. So far, we're 0-0. Um, we're, oh, no, you know, we haven't really done much. We're going to move up and we're going to start helping with these lanes. So, um, you know, the lanes are doing a really good job. Keith's doing a good job on Tyrant Star. And Second's doing a good job on Usain. We're able to hit Usain a couple times over there. So we're able to win Second's lane. Even though he definitely did majority of it. So I don't want to sound like um, I want it for him. Keith's doing a really good job over there on Tyrant Star. Um, I'm just going to have to fall back, but I definitely did make sure that I didn't break my own walls over here because that would have been very detrimental. Um, second, doing a really good job on his lane. I'm going to be able to try and sneak a shot on Tyrant over there. Wasn't able to hit it. Going to hit like four consecutive shots over there on Usain, so that was a really good kill. Um, Johnny's going to try and move up over here, but just me walking forward, I was able to stop it. Going to be able to hit that shot over there on Tyrant Star. And so we're doing pretty good. We're 3-0 on our KD, where we've held our lane. So we're doing pretty well. Continuously tapping over here. We're going to get a Barley Super on the safe. And this is our only push because we're down 9-1. to one, So we decided we're just going to go all in. I got three extra Piper shots in, and I'm just going to jump away. Keith's going to get hit by that head because, you know, he just doesn't do enough damage. But that's fine. We did a pretty good amount of damage, so we're looking pretty good. We understand that we're going to have to defend, so that's fine. We... We are fine with it. We have a fairly defense. Like, we don't really have a defensive comp, but Spike is really good in this meta with defense, so we should be fine. Um, Tyrant Star is going to move up on that right. I'm able to take out Usain. Tyrant's going to move up, able to take out Tyrant over there. So we're looking really good. We're like 5-0 and right now. We're dominating. Um, you know, who needs OG on the team anyways? But we're just chilling on this left side. We're able to tap uh, Usain Colts over there. Second with a really, really good play of just doing a ton of damage. You guys can see he did 50% over there. Um, we were able to kill Usain, and we're able to work as a team and as well kill Johnny Boy. So that was really, really good. We're going to get the kill over there on Tyrant Star, and that is going to end the match. We, on like a 13 push, only let them do 37%. So that was really insane. Star player for Piper Bobby. Again, OG. Doesn't look like we need you anymore. But anyways... That is going to be the next game. So we're up 4-1. We're looking really, really good heading into Brawl Ball. And second best, you guys know second very well. He's always about trolling and having fun. And so you guys are going to see what he whips out the next game. Let's show you guys what happens. So getting into the next game, second requested that he can go Mortis. And like good teammates who are overconfident, 
we decided let's let him go Mortis. So it's actually not a bad matchup since they have a tick. Second can actually do something surprisingly. Um, we're going to go down straight away to Tyrant Star. Second's going to miss his dash. He's also not going for the ball for some reason. Um, this is a weird play by second as he just went for the kill and didn't go for the lane, which obviously positionally would have been better as Tyrant Star just rolled in and was able to get a free goal. So that wasn't very good. This time I decided to change it up a little bit and play a little bit more aggressive, but Tick is super annoying on this map, so there wasn't really much I can do. I got hit by three of the Tick Mines, so I'm going to go down over there. Um, second's going to be going for that kill. Really good play by Keith over there to get that. That was really timely. If he didn't get that kill, they would obviously score it straight away. And I didn't think Usain saw me, so I just kind of went forward over here. He thinks I'm Keith, so he walks up, and I just, you know, don't have to say anything. Just easily take him out. Don't know what second did. He went for the kill on Tyrant. Wasn't able to get it. Tyrant's going to pick up the ball, roll into the net. No way Keith can stop that. And that's going to be the game. So that makes it 4-2. Um, we do blame second best for that game, as we should, and as all of you should. Typical second best, trying to troll. And it just didn't work out this time, so it's now 4-2. Next map is Sandy Gems. By this point, we kind of just we haven't scrimmed any of these maps because we were confident we we're gonna win five to zero or five to one. We didn't plan on going Mortis, so it's four to two. We haven't scrimmed on any of these maps. We're not prepared for it. Um, so I would show you guys the Sandy Gems map, except we kind of just banned random people for that map since we didn't think we'd get there, and we played the brawler that we banned, so we took a DQ on Sandy Gems. So we're just gonna show you the next game. So it's four to three now. So it's actually getting serious. It's they win two games and they win. We have to win one, but that's still, you know, it's way too close. We don't like it. So let's go into the next game and show you guys exactly what happened. So the next game is going to be on four squared, four to three, first one to five. Um, we decided to go with Daryl, Spike, and Poco, and they decided to go with Barley, Spike, and or Barley, Daryl, and Bo. And this is a pretty interesting game since, and on other maps, Daryl can kind of destroy and just stay alive. But in this one, you know, both Daryls, you, you guys will see. We kind of just YOLO'd. Um, Bo is definitely the stronger mid than Poco, but we did Poco because it does help out um, Daryl a lot. So you guys can see I'm in the middle over here. Usain is going to roll on Keith and he's going to be able to pick up that kill. I decided to save my roll, not roll on him. Um, so they're up 4-1 to one at the moment. Second's getting bodied a little bit, so he's trying to switch lanes. I'm going to use my super and just uh, roll into the middle. Um, didn't get a kill. Keith's going to get rolled on over there. He's probably going to go down. Oh, no, he stays up. I got healed by Keith, like, he literally hit me with the very edge of it, it was pretty OP. Um, so I'm basically gonna go down, oh, I am gonna go down over there, but that's fine. We're able to get a couple kills, and we got some positioning, so again, even though it went down, Daryl's kinda like a kamikaze here. Um, Keith calls out those mines really well, so he's gonna be able to trigger them. The mines, though, these bow mines have got to go, they're so good. Um, so it's six to five right now in gems for them. We are we are aware of the mine placements since Keith is gonna get hit by two of them. So he's gonna go down. I'm gonna try and roll on Super Sai. I'm not gonna be able to get the kill, but at the very end I got my super, but I decided not to use it. Um, just because I decided to save it for my next life. The map was getting more open, which was better for us. Um, it's currently eight to five. Really, really close game. I'm gonna pick up a gem and I'm gonna go for Super Sai. Usain kind of messes up his roll, so I'm just going to move back to where I was, because that basically just got us a gem or two, as well as positioning. Keith's going to move up very aggressively. He's not going to be able to get that kill, but he is going to be able to get a super. The mines are in the middle, and Keith is going to get hit by it, which obviously is an issue. And I get hit by it, but he does have his heal, so it's fine. Um, I'm just going to roll onto them. I almost get hit by a mine again, but I'm able to stay alive. Ever so barely, I'm just running away. So it's currently 9-9. It's a really, really, really close game. Keith's going to pick up this final gem. No, he's not actually. I'm going to pick up the final gem. And I could have rolled onto Super Saiyan and killed him there. But I also might have thrown the game. So that will probably wasn't the strat. Um, so it's 10 to 10. Both Daryls have gems. So they can't just recklessly go in and try and get some kills. Usain's kind of afraid to go for it. I have the Poco healing star power with Keith on my team. So I can be a little bit more aggressive than Usain can. Keith just poking away. Uh, doing a good job. He gets his roll. I mean, he gets his super. We take the lead by one gem, but we know, you know, if they they're they're pretty tanky, so if they want, they can just walk up and take that, which is exactly what they're going to try and do. I decide to go on a little bit of a kamikaze mission, which is basically I know I will die, but a 9k Daryl HP like, or 9k HP Daryl with the Poco heal, it's it's unstoppable. We did a ton of damage, which allowed our teammates to walk in and finish it up. We're gonna get the double hit. On Usain over there, gonna get that kill, and we're gonna try and get the kill on Tyrant, but second is going to steal it. 
and that is going to end the game. So even though I died, it was definitely very, very calculated. I kind of knew I was going to die. It would have been great if I stayed alive, but we knew that our teammates would have been able to finish it, and that is going to finish the set. Anyways, GG's to these guys. They're very, very strong players. And GG's to my teammates. Uh, we did good, especially without OG, who we always play with. So it's definitely a little bit different, but Keith definitely stepped in and played amazing this week, so congrats to him. Anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, all these videos are going to be dual commentaries with myself and OG on the other channel, so definitely go check that out. Links in the description below. That's going to be it. I will catch you guys tomorrow. See ya. Peace.